Hey, what's going on guys? John here, and today I wanted to do a video review for the Camry Mini PC. Um, this particular build of this Camry Mini PC actually has a Celeron processor in it, and I'm gonna actually go through in this video, walk you through um, the actual computer itself. We'll go through the login process, talk a little bit about what's inside the box, and just really go through everything and I'll give you my general thoughts. So let's actually start with what's inside the box. So this is the actual PC itself. Um, you have this really cool kind of copper design that uh, kind of goes all throughout. So I'll actually lift it up here just so you can see a better angle of this. Um, on the side here, you have three USB ports, your power button here, and then on the back side, you have two HDMI ports, an ethernet port, you have your microphone, there is a um, lock mechanism here, and then you have an additional USB port as well as your power output. So the power output actually goes into a standard brick um, that you just have here plugged into the wall. Unlike a laptop charger or something like this where it's like a separate brick, I do like that it has that single brick that you just plug right in. Um, it has a little warning here on the front that says if you can't log in during boot, um, basically you just wanna make sure you turn off Wi-Fi and LAN and then skip that option to be able to log in. Now in terms of um, the box itself and what it came with, this actually comes with an additional USB cable. Um, you also have a mount that includes screws and this can be used to wall mount this. So if you had a place like let's say I wanted to like wall mount it up here or something like that, I could do that. It does come with an instruction manual kind of going through everything you need to know about all the different pieces. It has this in multiple languages, um, really goes through uh, all the different components and everything that you need to know about the, uh, the computer. So I've already booted it up here and I'm basically sitting at the home page here. I do apologize, I have a little bit of sun because this particular window does not have any curtains. So we're just gonna say yes for English and I'm gonna walk through this and we'll kind of jump into it. So I'm in the US, um, we're gonna do US keyboard. We're gonna skip a second keyboard layout. So it has me put in my name. And I actually just left the password blank. Um, we'll just do next. And it looks like we're pretty much already in Windows. So this is actually going pretty quick in terms of boot up. I believe most of these camera PCs do come preloaded with Windows 11. So um, this is gonna be really great if you're just looking for like a mini PC that isn't something that's gonna take up a whole lot of space. As you can see here, my mouse pad is actually um, almost twice the size of the actual computer. So it says it's gonna take a few minutes not to turn off the PC. Um, I do have another camera PC that's a little bit more powerful this, than this one and I've actually been very happy with their brand. Haven't had any issues, um, anything going wrong in terms of like thermals. Um, I was even gaming on one of them and didn't have any issues whatsoever. It was more of just, you know, kind of taking it to, to its limits in terms of what it can do performance wise. Um, this particular model is one of their lower grade kind of entry level models. So you probably will struggle a little bit more with something like gaming on this, but it would be really good for just basic desktop um, use, whether or not it's doing email, web browsing, maybe some basic editing, things like that you could do with this little mini PC. Um, I even thought about using it as an alternative to a laptop and that way I could just put this somewhere that I know I'm traveling to. Um, I have a friend that consistently travels to his parents' place up on like the Cape and basically he'll always bring his laptop but he's always going to the same spot and I said to him, you know, you could take something like this up there, leave it there and then just set up a little monitor on your desk and you wouldn't have to like bring it back and forth or if you wanted to, you could easily pack this away in like a backpack or something like that. Um, so this is still going through the initial boot phase, but overall, um, just from initial glance, I'm happy with this um, in terms of the specs, what it comes with for USB drives. I don't want to sit too long and just wait because I don't know how long this will take to boot, but um, you guys have a pretty good idea of what to expect with this PC. I think if you're looking for something like this, definitely it would be a good bet and worth checking out. Anyway, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video.